They get the worst of the worst when it comes to pet emergencies. Tonight, we take you inside MedVet, where critical care is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 10 TV's Ashley Berry was granted exclusive access into the emergency room, where they save the lives of man's best friends. We should warn you, some parts of this story may be difficult for some to watch. It's all right, Joseph. They're in pain, but they can't speak. They communicate only with soft cries. He's all tense. He's whining a little bit now, too. It's a routine Sunday morning in the emergency room at MedVet. Charlie's owner feared he had just eaten a wild mushroom. Oh, there it is. A little bit. Mushrooms it is while Allie exhibits puzzling behavior. Her centers of balance are off, so her body thinks it's moving and it's not. It's kind of like spinning around 10 times and stopping. Your world is still going. Brian Jefferson is the head emergency room doctor and says Allie could be having a reaction to something minor or something as serious as a stroke or a tumor. She requires an immediate neurological consultation. And at MedVet, there's a team of medical specialists available 24 hours a day. But to find all of those specialties under one roof, that's what makes it a very unique environment. Oh yeah, he's allergic. Look at that. That's disgusting. Ears. So he's got odor and discharge and redness in both his ears. Aside from these ER cases, MedVet offers exactly what you would see inside a human hospital, including this ICU unit where dozens of dogs and cats are being treated. They even have an oxygen unit, which controls the temperature, humidity, and amount of oxygen that's released to the animals. It works very much like an incubator. And that's not all. There's even an isolation ward, which you see here, which prevents the spread of contagious diseases like parvovirus or kennel cough. The technicians have to wear gloves, they have to wear gowns and booties every time they interact with these patients, and each time they interact, they have to put on a new set. Then, there are cases which require the full array of services to treat a pet in imminent danger, where just minutes can make a difference to the outcome. We get the worst of the worst. Three weeks ago, a pack of dogs attacked Sammy, injuring him from the top of his head to the tip of his tail. His owners traveled to MedVet's ER all the way from West Virginia. My honest reaction was, oh, I don't know if we're going to save him or not. Sammy's case provided diagnostic challenges to even the most seasoned of ER specialists. There was mud, there was grass, there was everything up deep up inside the wounds, there was gravel. Um, so I was concerned, was this tissue going to be able to survive this or not? The good news is thanks to the sophisticated treatment Sammy received, he did survive and his prognosis is excellent. This is the kind of case that requires a very committed owner, um, and uh, thankfully we have a, a fair bit of, of those committed owners. Uh, and it's just amazing the things that we can do when, when we're allowed to do them. And with that, I'm just going to take this real quick. Dr. Jefferson turned to greet his next challenge. Ashley Berry, 10 TV News. Dedicated people there. MedVet treats more than 60,000 dogs and cats every year in Ohio and Louisiana. For more information on the center in Worthington, log on to our website, 10tv.com.